So in this video I will be talking about all of the achievements and how to get them. I, will, I won't go into all the little details, but in general I will talk about all the requirements for all the achievements in Kingdom Hearts 3. So let's get to the first one. Kingdom Hearts 3 Complete Master. Of course you cannot get this until way later on. Because you need all the achievements of course. So let's get to the first real one then. Uh, a new journey. It's like starting the game really easily. Uh, same goes for Clash of Gods, just finish Olympus, the Waste of Twilight, complete Twilight, Inseparable Friends, complete the Toy Box, also really easy. Same goes for Corona, uh, Monsterpolis, Adolin, Pirates of the Caribbean. They all pretty much like that. Even sent for Sokoyo. Just complete all the worlds, you get an achievement for those. Those are the first ones you're gonna get. Then you have the same so one that goes for the Ars Woods, with the Winnie one. I know then you, don't. you get the another chapter closed. It's pretty much the final one, right? Like you just finished the game. But before finish the game, you also get the achievements, the hearts joined in this, no matter what, in a battle to end all. You get them all when doing the campaigns. So you shouldn't be worried about those. So let's talk about a couple more hidden ones. We have Flam Meister. Complete all the Fantastic Seven missions. So you have like seven of these pudding princesses, or like. Shadows, whatever you want to call it, they have those mini games, right? So you go to each world that has one and do that. You just need to find them. They have like this weird thing on their heads. They're easy to spot. I think they only spawn after you've done beating the game, but I'm not too sure. I think you have only have seven worlds to, to explore, right? Except if you count the Keyblade uh, War thing, but that doesn't really count. It's not one that. One of the princesses has spawned. Then you have Thermos Prayer. Destroy the Swatch Sayest? Memories of the Ocean Between. So, how to get that? Uh, you pretty much just go to the Gummy oh. Ship section, right? And you have these three worlds you can go to, or worlds, space sections. And you go to the middle one, the one with the frozen, all those lands. I think it was that one. And then you see like this big uh, galactic tornado thing. And you just go right into it, right? You have like this weird color, you, you can get into it, but you can only get into it once you have a certain amount of speed. You need to have like a pretty speedy one, but also you probably require a lot of damage as well. It's like a hidden boss, it's pretty, uh, pretty strong one, but you need to have a fast ship. To unlock a fast ship, you need to level up your ship, of course. So that one is pretty tricky, right? But uh, more like that. First one is one of the box. It's a really annoying one. Complete the game record section of the game we found. So for that, you need to do all the mini games. Like after you finish the game, you do certain mini games. You need to do them all again, just once. Like if you need the pool one, has three ones. Uh, the Toy Story one, where you have to be in a mech and kill a lot of mechs, you need to do that one. The dancing one, the frozen one, where you start off the hill, you need all of those. Not only that, you also need the shots the lock keys, which means you require all the keyblades. So this may be a bronze achievement, but the requirements are pretty fucking high. Like you need all the you need all of the keyblades, right? Like even the three ones you won't get at the end of the campaign. And I will be talking about those later. Then we have an achievement tall enough to write, use an expression to defeat the enemy for the first time. Really easy, you're gonna get that hard bound, use a link to defeat an enemy. Really easy. Grant magic for the first time. Well this is you, you will be able to do this, not too hard, but you need to level 3 tier magic. And then you can use it like a tier 4 magic, right? You're not gonna, it's like a special uh, command prom will get up. It's, you will get that most of the time as well. You get like tiers of magic like to the game. Then you have like knight, bishop and rook. Defeat 1000 enemies, 3000 and 5000. You probably will end up around bishop, like defeating 3000 when you complete the game. And 5000 enemies, it just explains itself. Then you have Salvager. This one is also pretty interesting. Salvager, use the game ship to obtain 20 unique treasures. When you're on the game ship, you can get to the settings and like see the treasures. How to get treasures, honestly, you destroy the blue or purple gems. They have ones. But also just destroying boss battles. If you do like at least 20 boss battles, you will be done. Also the blue materials that are like swarming into space. Just blue rocks. Just show them you get stuff out as well. 20 is really easy to get. I think the maximum amount of shit you can get is like 40. So it's not that hard. You just need to like do a lot of boss battles. 
they are not too tough, but you can get a lot of shit from that. Stargazer, this is also a tricky one. Uh, you have like this kind of things you have to take photos of, those blue balls and those orbs just like kind of formal and special look. You can find them on YouTube as well after this one, but you have to take a picture of it and I think they're on 10. And once you find them, you get that achievement as well. Then you have one of the mini games, Saturation, score at least 12 million points at Ferrum Rex. I actually got this one in one go, it's not too hard. Just destroy all the mechs, like try to use the table that will break with class, try the big explosives to kill multiple mechs at the same time, really easy. Then you have Festival Dance, score at least 70,000 points, and this one is tough. It took me like quite a while. Uh, just by dancing itself, you should be able to get like a combo of 30, at least 30. Then you should be able to trigger um, like a special event where you have to dance like the whole time, like in a circle. You need at least a combo of 50 of that, so your total should be 80. And then you get like around 70,000, maybe a bit more. I had a bit more, but I would recommend getting 30 uh, combo of just dancing. And then the special event of dancing where you go in a circle, get around 50, so you have a total of 80 for the requirement. So that means you cannot break your combo, so you need to be dancing the whole entire time. If you break your combo, you don't get the score. Shield Shredder, score is 60,000 points. 600,000 points. Frozen Slider, go, go to Frozen, go off the hill, just score a lot of points. Doesn't matter the time, just get a lot of points. There are some easy ways to get it, it's not too hard. Then Data Scriber, that's also too many games. You get them at the... Uh, Big Hero 6 level, once completed their campaign, the two side characters will have a quest for you, the guy that spits like fire and even ice, and the girl that goes fast, you will meet them. In, you can even do them in the garage as well, and I do them, but they're not too hard. Then you have Threads Nuts, fully powered your left fire turn. The left fire turn is your ship, level 9 is the max, so just farm crabs. You will find them everywhere, and, then, and just kill a lot of ships as well, it's not too hard. Same goes for True Captain, sink 200 enemy ships in the Caribbean. Well, you see, if you like explore the whole Caribbean, you will find enough. You will find enough ships to probably be level 6. Then kill a lot of ships, you probably be level 9. Say cheese, snap your first photo. Easy, hold up to 50 photos and less memories. Also, not hard, just take 50 photos. Then we have a really tough one, Core Nucopia. Collect every type of ingredients. Once you go to all the levels, you always pick up the ingredients, right? Then you won't get it because there are certain things like tomatoes, those kind of things. You can only get them from the Winnie the Pooh mini games. So do the Winnie the Pooh games a couple times, you'll get some. And of course, the seven princesses or like the seven pudding things. You need to do the mini games. At least get a score of like 10,000, that will do. And that's how you get like banana, watermelon, cherry, those kind of things. It's not too hard, but it will be a bit tricky. Then the achievement full course, earn your first excellence. Not too hard, you just need to cook, get an excellence. Master Chef is also one that took me quite a while. Earn excellent on every recipe. You have like a left one, right? Page with like 20, and then you have a right page with 6, you need to do all of them. You will obtain a keyblade by that. In that's one of the keyblades you will need to shut lock it's the uh, Master Chef keyblade. You get them from doing all uh, the left baits, all the 21 gets like in a good score on that one. Muscle memory, get a high score in classic game games. And classic train, get a new high score in every classic kingdom game. It's really easy to get them. You get a special keyblade as well, the classic tone, I made a video about it. The thing about this is you need to find I think it's about 23 games. To get these games, you need to be finding a lot of chests, right? So just go around and find all of the chests. It's not that hard. But some of them you need to like require to jump from something and then get on it and kill it. Blade Master, obtain a keyblade that's fully powered up. Just upgrade it. Go to the Mugli shop and he will give you it. Level up, race sword to level 99. Just do battle gates. Battle gates will give you a lot. In the ultimate weapon, synchronize the ultimate weapon. That one is really tricky, you need a lot of parts, you need 7 parts. By the other ones, the crystals you can just farm pretty much. Not that hard, but the parts you need the 7 ones, the Ocracium Plus. 
two of them are dropped from a chest, one at the Caribbean, one at the like white zone thing. You can get back to that. Hey, one is from wait. a secret boss battle in the gummy ship one. It's like uh, the keyblade war thing, that space, no four bosses, defeat those four bosses, one big one will spawn, you get one as well. You get one to the mill, if you do like, set a ticket to the gummy ship, okay. gummy ship uh, the gummy guy. And then you will get a part as well, doing the seven uh, pudding quests, all of them will give you something, but you need a really high score to get them actually. Also get a really high score at the frozen slider. Or like in high school, get all of the uh, little gems you'll find around. You can see them once you do them a couple of times. You can find them on the YouTube as well. Then I forgot to mention you have no time enemy complete adversary section the gummy ship, the gummy phone. This one's tricky as well because when you play the game, you won't get across all enemies. There are three enemies you need. You will only be able to defeat them if you completed the game and open the battle gates. You have like a uh, nobody, a mage, and a knight. You need to defeat those two. They are like one at Twilight Town and one at one other place. Defeat those. And then the last one is the enemy. You will be able to obtain them at the last of the gates. It's like at the Keyblade War land. It's, it's, he's really tough, right? It's like a fire demon dude. Two blades. He's probably tougher than the end boss himself. Defeat him. And you'll be able to obtain no damn enemies. It's pretty tough though. I would definitely recommend a lot of good stuff. Then, no stone unturned. Complete the trash section of the gimmick phone. Yeah, just go to all of the all of the worlds and get all the treasures. It's really hard. Same goes for the complete synchronif. Not the synchronif. The one that you need to do all the uh, lucky emblems. That was the hidden kings. That's the secret name. So get all the lucky emblems, it's really as easy as it says, but it's actually really tough. You can find some other tutorials on YouTube like I'm saying. I'm not going into legal details why you could find them, but just you can find them, that's how you get those. And then the Sinsonism, complete the Sinsonism section in Gummy Ship. Or Gummy Phone. Well, this one is tough as well, because you need to craft all the items. All of them. One of them is the Keyblade, like the, like the ultimate one. So you need a lot of fucking items to do that. And how do you get them? Just go find stuff. Just make sure that you gather from everything. You gather everything right. All of the shards, stones, gems. Once you've done all of them, you can even craft them, right? So you can craft them. And if you've crafted them all, you can pretty much get all of the stuff, right? Like, synchronize all of the shit. Like, the weapons, the armor, the potions, the boosts. Uh, what's more, all of the armors, quite a bit, and all of the rings, those are the ones you need. But if you need any help by any of the quests, any of the achievements, like some tips, some tricks, let me know, I will be answering them. I know I have not been too clear on our few achievements, most of them speak for themselves, to be honest. But if you have a problem with any of them, let me know. I got all of the achievements in the game. I was able to get it on Platinum, I spent 90 hours in the game, in the past week just to get them all. It took me only 30 hours to finish the game. But if you've got any good information in this video, let me know. Like I said, if you need any help, let me know as well. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.